round one is underway, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he understood the grappling challenge he was up against, but he's not afraid to engage on the ground tonight. It's a danger that is not worth risking. It is something that you don't want to play with. This grappler is that good. When this fight gets to the ground, you enter his world, especially when it looks like you hold the advantage on the feet. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. There's no kill on that leg. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. And he landed the right hand there. Just misses there with the left. Oh, single collar tie here. Left hand punch. Dirty boxing here up top by Choi. Boy, Ty Plump. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Nice strike. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Lands flush with the left hand. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. Big call punch lands. Now we get back to range. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Then both guys really throwing with authority. Efficient with that jab, doubles up on it now. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Oh! He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? when that leg is coming. He landed that punch flush. Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Oh, well, that's a good right hand. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, misses with the jab. You cannot kick too many of these big elbows from the clinch. Big kick lands. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Flush right hand is true. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Relax, relax. Nice head kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, he left his head wide open to absorb that straight hand. He has shown a vulnerability here by leaning in right into his opponent's range. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. 20 seconds to go in round one. His misses are entertaining. Seconds here of round one. Nice head kick. Nice punch by Choi. 
The horn sounds for the end of round one. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You're looking great. You're winning this fight everywhere. This round, I want you to control the fight on the ground. I think you can get that submission from side control position. All right, here we go with our next round. And how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs. And when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head. And largely, that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be. And it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Choi gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Great punch. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hand. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression. Right in the All right, so a near perfect entry there. And finally, he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays. And that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns. He tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big kick lands. Oh, nice. Nice. Powerful leg kick lands. What a punch. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, go posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. I mean, how many can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran, 
of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Back to the feet now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ten what? minutes in the books. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, there's the swing, and there's the miss by the Korean Super Bowl. What a body kick. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Just misses with the right. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Both fighters throwing heat now. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Shore. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing with this shot. He's never looked this good. He lands the right hand. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Back and forth we go! Just misses with a left hook there. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Beautiful punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt. Vicious combo there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Throws the right hand there. Leg kick. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And they separate. That's a big strike right there. Looking to land the right just out of range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, 
but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Good punch. Well, no surprises. He oh, what a fantastic strike! Oh. That's how you finish a fight. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> so he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Nice punch lands over the top. Lands with the left. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Oh! What a fight so far. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent Ready? is going to need some Ready? Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Beautiful kick. He blocks the punch. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Ooh, what a punch. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Shore. Out of range with that one. Oh! Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at one minute of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ha Chong. Well, there will be no shutting that smile.